Hey everybody, it's Sassy Assassin here. So, um, the reaction cam did not work again. And I think it's because I forgot to update my phone with the new Apple software. Um, and maybe that will, maybe once I have that done, it'll actually work better. But I'm also looking for other apps, reaction apps. But I like Reaction Me because it's just easier to use and you can um, pause the video and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, I, I really want to use OBS, but I can't use it on this computer because it just, my computer won't let me. It just, I don't know, I don't know why, it just, OBS does not work well on my, this particular computer that I have right now. So, um, I'm hopefully, when I get my, my other computer, um, I'll be able to use OBS on there. I'm sure I will be. Um, and I want to do reactions through that. I, I just need to watch some videos on how to do that and how to do it properly. And I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited for the new, the new equipment and everything. Anywho, um, so I'm rea this video is about Amber Lynn Reed Vlogmas Day 4. And, um, honestly, I'm annoyed by her right now. And, I'm my optimism for her new sudden turnaround is starting to diminish a bit, especially after watching this video. And the reason is, is because, you know, I, I watch a lot of, you know, I watch a few reaction channels and a lot of the reaction channels that I have, that I watch on the regular have m been reacting to Amberlynn Reed and Chantel longer than I have. And, um, especially Michael B. Petty, he's saying, you know, he's saying, I, you know, this is nothing new. This is how she was last year. You know, don't buy into it. She's not, you know, she's not really changing and stuff like that. This is just a part of the cycle. Honestly, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep a healthy dose of skepticism and a healthy dose of optimism and just sort of like, you know, meeting in the middle pretty much. But, um, it's, it's just very, it was very hard today to keep, to, to keep that sense of optimism after hearing her complain about every cotton picking thing in this video, especially her health. It's a, I guess it's a bit of a pet peeve for mine when it comes to her because she acts like she has it worse off than anybody. Like her, you know, it's such a drag and everything. And she's constantly complaining throughout this video about how bad it is. It's like, girl, you have no idea. You have no idea what it's like to truly suffer with illnesses. And honestly, if you were to go, if she were to go to the doctor, get health insurance and actually, you know, take care of herself, she wouldn't be having these issues as much. She would be losing weight. I mean, she needs, she needs to more than ever see a weight loss doctor, see a dietitian, and she needs to listen to them instead of acting like she knows everything about weight loss. She doesn't. She's been at it for eight years and she, do and she doesn't know shit. She does not know shit. Like, it's just utterly ridiculous to me that she's still acting like she knows what to do and that everybody else is wrong. And she only went to these doctors, like, what, the, what, the, the weight loss doctor once, the dietitian once? Like, it, it takes more than one appointment to, you know know uh, you know know about the problem you know you have to see the doctor these doc specialists on a regular basis so they can help you navigate with navigate the problem and f you know work with you and how to make it better it, it just it's trial and error and it's just finding what works and it's good to have a doctor's insight somebody who specializes in in that area because you know you're you're not just fishing in the dark basically you're you know at least you have a handle on what to do and if you're not happy with that doctor if you don't feel like they're addressing your issues properly if you don't click with that doctor then you know by all means find somebody else but she needs to find somebody she needs to and hanker down and see that person on a regular basis and work with a plan and give it a chance and instead of just giving up you know, when it's tough, because it's always tough in the beginning to work with any type of plan, especially a weight loss plan, you know, a diet, diet plan and stuff like that. It's always difficult in the beginning because it's a new thing and you have all these fears and, you know, irrationalities and you think, oh my God, I can't do this. But, you know, 
once you start working on it and once you start actually doing it, it's not that bad. You know, it gets easier. But she's so impatient. It's just like she wants it like now. It's like it's not going to happen now. It's going to happen when it happens. You know, it's like ridiculous. It's, um, you know, there's a girl that I've talked about before um, who is like she's like amazing to me like she also has gastroparesis but she has it a worse type of gastroparesis and she also has other chronic illnesses that basically she is a girl that you know a light she uh, connected to machines she even did a video called 11 months ago called life connected to machines her name is amy lee fisher i think she's australian um she, check her out, you guys. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. She is amazing. She talks about her chronic illnesses, fashion, her lifestyle. And honestly, you know, like, she is so chipper considering what she has to deal with. And you'll understand once you start watching her videos, you know, and, you know, she's has to, there are times where she has to be in the hospital for a couple of days. Like, it's a normal thing, you know, and she's, it's like every day she's, she's, you know, dealing with medical issues she's literally has feeding tubes because she can't eat stuff properly i mean and the kind of pain that she has to deal with especially when having to change out the feeding tube like i've heard that like i'm so, so thankful that i my gastroparesis isn't, isn't as advanced that where i have to have that but i've heard feeding tubes like the remove you know the changing of the feeding tubes is really painful like oh my god I couldn't imagine having to do that like every freaking month. Like that's just, oh my God. But um, yeah, so you want to know what, what a real like warrior is? You need to watch her channel. Like she's absolutely a freaking amazing, amazing. And that is just why I have little sympathy for Amber Lynn because what I have to deal with, what I've seen some of these, you know, YouTubers with chronic illnesses, that ha what they have to deal with. It's just like, hearing amber complain it's just it's just so un it's just like what unbelievable to me it's like does she not realize how but how good she has it considering her you know her weight issues considering the health issues that she has that she's not properly addressing does she not realize that how good she has it like i'm sorry hold on let me turn off my heater sorry it gets cold in my room then i get hot it's just like <sighs> Anyways, it's just, it just irritates me. It really does irritate me. Like, there are days, like, honestly, where I have to drink protein shakes and live off soup or something like that. And something very soft and, and you know, something easy to digest. That's what, what I go for. And I'm in the works of um, trying some new, mach sh like, products out to help to get better, more, my nutrients and better and better, um, better companies. But, um... You know, it's like, she's, you know, when she makes the, you know, been making these, uh, these stir fries with all these vegetables and, and when she was talking about, uh, you know, dealing with like the fresh vegetable thing in this video, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, do you know how lucky you are to be able to have that stuff and eat it? Like, I would love just to be able to sit down and have a salad. Like, and the fact that she had that broccoli, you know, th broccoli, and there was like a, a worm in it, and she didn't even give it to like the the associate at Walmart. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously? Okay, I've run into that kind of thing several times, and once in particular at Kroger's. Actually, I was you know getting some silk um, chocolate and coconut yogurt. You know the little the little um, cups, and um, they had it on sale. Um, it was like 10 for 10 and I was like, oh, that's so freaking awesome. And so I was like, oh, they have the, you know, the, the silk has the, um, the chocolate and coconut and it's really good, you guys. Well, I saw like four at the time I saw like four of them that were like partially open and they had mold on them. And so what I did instead of just leaving them there for somebody else to get, like I literally looked at, look, looked around uh, in that whole section and looked in, in the silk section and I figured maybe it's just like a fluke. Maybe um, something happened and some of the silk yogurts were um, left open. And I picked out all like the four of them that I saw. And I flagged down somebody working there and I said, hey, 
and you know somebody who come came out of like the back where the pro you know where the uh, frozen foods and stuff like that and i said hey these four are bad um you need to throw these out and they're just like oh thank you ma'am really do appreciate that you know well we're gonna we're gonna go and check the rest of the stock to make sure everything's okay and it's just like stuff like that is like when it's consideration and two it's like that helps make sure like that what they're putting out even though it's not out on the shelf yet that helps them make sure like everything's okay and she should have done that so they could go in there and check all the bags and make sure none of them are like that and so just leaving it there for somebody to find because maybe somebody won't see that and they'll and they'll fucking eat that and get sicker and get like really violently ill like i don't know i don't know what that thing was but it's just like that bitch should not have left it there like that's so inconsiderate it's at the time she just left the cart in the in the parking lot and didn't even bother to take it back like usually if i leave the cart in the parking lot it's because somebody else at, you know who wants it ask me and i'm like okay i'll leave it in the parking lot for you so they don't have to walk into the store and go and get it like because sometimes like it's easier for elderly people if there's a already a cart in the parking lot so they don't have to go as far you know um and that's why i you know but I, I will if i see an elderly person who i know is going to have a cart i'll usually ride over there and say hey do you need this and it's just like they're like oh yes sure thank you you know i really appreciate it and i always you know i tell them like oh you know this cart may not have enough juice left but it'll get you in the store and you can just get a new one and so at least they'll have a cart to go into the store with so they don't have to walk into the store it's just like those little things it's just like i do it without thinking you know it's just like just consideration that's all i'm just trying to say um the soup is atrocious by the way like I i'm sorry it looked like fucking vomit like i would never eat that and i just feel like this whole thing with the fresh food like there are sprays you can get for fresh fruit and vegetables we got we have some okay i like to use the blender sometimes and and make some concoctions i know it would look gross to other people but hello gastroparesis like and um like i will you you know cut them up and stuff like that it's you know sometimes we get stuff from like the the, do the food pantry and you know i'll get some stuff that i like from you know the store or whatever but i can't always afford it so it's like you know i have to sort of balance things out with a green grass powder or if i'm really lucky i can get you know some carrots and some other you know vegetables that i can mix together and in, in like a, a drink form or whatever i mean it just you know whatever works right so um but it's like I always clean them even if they're pre-washed I don't care I, I will always freaking clean them and I will always use the spray I don't give a shit you know like it's just common sense you know and I feel like and then when it comes to the torrid clothes okay like that how many I want I just cannot fathom how much money she is spending on these clothes and she's not buying what she really needs bras underpants shoes pants she i mean i i swear to god she's like how many times how many times a week is she wearing though that those black leggings and tights or whatever and the um the cloth shoes like it <laughs> seriously i would i would be trying to find ways to buy new pants and stuff and i would i would try to find ways to buy better shoes because and then the sizes of a lot of the stuff that she was getting the four and the five like didn't get anything in six or seven like girl i'm a, I, I can fit into a three x or four and the fact that she's buying four x's like girl bitch are you kidding me like that's my size because i oh i don't know see i could do a three x but it's just like sometimes i like you know depends on the material but it's just like i know where i know where i fall into when it comes to torrid and I've had myself measured. I know where, and I and I measure. My, I have I have my measuring tape, and I will measure myself every month, you know, at least, to make sure I am still within the same. I, I am. I mean, um, but it's just like I know where I fall into. You know what I mean? And she does not fall into three or four, one, two, three, four, or five. She is a six or a seven, and she has to account for the lymphedema. So I would, it, I would go for a six or a seven when it comes to when it comes to that, just so she could have some extra room in her stomach for so so it's not, you know, irritating the lymphedema. And she's not even doing that. She's bu she's buying sizes that she cannot fit into, 
and they look super tight on her. It's like, girl, they do not look cute on you. And the dresses she wears are more like sh long shirts. It's like, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you buying clothes that are too small for you? I do not understand the freaking logic. Like, it's so much waste of money. Like, if you want to, you know, I have certain clothes that I've bought that I thought, you know, fit me. And I bought them online, whatever, and turned out they don't fit me very well. And so what I do, if I really like the outfit, and if I think, oh, you know, if I get maybe 10, 15, 20 pounds down, I, I can fit into it. So I keep it back. And I save it for when I can actually fit into it and fit into it properly. And um, there are times where I've actually had my clothes either taken in or taken out. Um, my mom has done that. I've actually had done professionally one or tw once or twice. And it's just, you know, I'm just very picky. Like, I, I you know, um, I love buying clothes. But at the same time, I love, I, I like clothes that fit me properly, that look okay, you know. And it's just like, I don't go for something that I know is going to be too small. I'm not going to put myself through that. And because I, I, when I used to do that. Okay, when I was younger, and because I I was so keen on fitting into smaller clothes, but I I came to the realization that you know I'm actually putting myself through more mental stress, and by buying clothes that are too small, and I felt more fat than I than I was, and um, I just don't do it anymore. I'm pretty sensible, and I don't beat myself up about it. I mean, yeah, I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm getting down. It's just that I don't int intentionally buy something that's too small. I just can't. Um, of course, I also get hand me dance from my sisters as too, because they buy nice clothes and, you know, there's some things that they, you know, they're smaller than I am, okay, and they've been more successful than I have, especially my eldest sister. And there are certain things that she has back from when she was bigger, like around my size that I have, and you know, and some things that are, you know. I don't know, like, there are some things that I'll wear that are maybe a little bit too small, but, like, I can wear them around the house, whatever, but I would never wear them out, out, you know, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm a thrifty and I'm a sensible shopper, you know, and she's just, Am Amber is just so not, you know, she's so wasteful and, like, I just... I still affirm she needs to get a part of a weight loss program. She needs to hire a professional cook and ha she, or go to some cooking classes. I don't know. Like, seriously, like she needs to like m learn how to be more resourceful. And I feel like she's like a, what is it? Michael B. Petty says she has like a, a fast food palate. And I think she's, he's, and I agree with him. Like I, the pal, you know, the kind of foods that she makes, it's like she's grown up on fast food. And, you know, considering she had a really rough start in life and she lived in poverty, like severe poverty, like I, I'm sure fast food was like the, the, you know, the quickest option for her. And so she grew up with that kind of palate, but it's just like now she has the option to eat better and to buy better things. And she's somewhat doing that, but she still maintains these habits that, excuse me that are not healthy and that are toxic and she's still I, I I haven't been paying attention to snap her snapchat or her instagram and she's still you know misbehaving on both platforms and being very snarky and very you know you know whatever which leads me to believe that my optimism was maybe too much but doesn't mean I'm not going to be any any optimistic i'm just not as optimistic as optim all the <laughs> i'm not as optimistic as i was about her but i i do hope that she does succeed with this and i'm not a vindictive person i don't want her to fail same with chantel I have, well, I really have no hope for that girl, but I, I don't want Chantel to fail. I don't want anyone to fail. I want everybody to succeed in what they want to do, you know? I, I'd rather be a positive and uplifting person than be the angry person that I was before. And, um, it's just so irritating to, and, and, and also, I just feel like, I don't know, I, I tried to film this a couple times, so I'm sorry, like, I'm so, I'm so ridiculous, you guys, but, um, I will say this again if I haven't already said it. 
Um, I feel like Amber constantly is very, a very, very, very insecure person. And I feel like she constantly needs validation for everything that she does, even the little things. And she's constantly looking to us, the audience and other YouTubers and other people for, for like, a, you know, for the instruction. It's like, girl, you know, you need to be your own person and and use your own mind and not constantly rely on other people and try to emulate other people. Like if you, if you want to do things a certain way, then just fucking do it and and stop apologizing for it. Like, okay, maybe somebody suggests you need to do this or that, but if you don't feel comfortable doing it that way, then just don't do it. And you need to learn to take the criticism and you know whatever comes at you and just take it with a grain of salt but if you feel like maybe um what that person is saying is something that you'd be willing to try then do it but if, if you don't feel comfortable doing it then don't do it but the thing is is that because of your past behavior you're, you're getting so much more criticism because of that and and i always say this if you cannot take the criticism you cannot take you know the mockery i mean i know it's i, I mean it's wrong I, 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 I see comments where people are just fat shaming, to fat, you know, being fat shaming to fat shame and they don't care whether she succeeds or not. They don't really give a shit about her. They're just on there to make fun of her. Those people are just cruel. They are cruel people. And I can understand why Amber would feel and, and even Chantel or and any per, big YouTuber. It's just like it's cruel. And I can understand why they'd feel somewhat down. But it's just like at some point you need to learn, and, and and I had to learn this. This is why when I, whenever I get like fat phobic comments, I'm just like you know I let it roll off my back because I've had to deal with fat phobia for a long time, and it's like at some point you know especially when I was in school I had just to learn to get to get over it and well you know just to let it roll off my shoulders because those people are ignorant and they're cruel and. They're going to pay for what they, you know, karma's going to get back at them and they're going to pay for it at some point. You know, something's going to happen in their life and they're going to regret doing it. And I've had people from my, from my school hold days, like get a hold of me on Facebook or, or, you know, other social media and, and apologize for what they did. And I don't hold any grudges toward those people. I don't, you know, sometimes I, in my darkest moments, I'm, I, feel that anger creeping up in me and I'm like you know when I'm feeling like my life is you know things are not going the way I wish it and I, you know I'm in a bad place I'll be like how how is it fair that these people who literally terror terrorized me in school how fair is it that they have a happier life than I do then I'm like you know what they're living their life and I'm living my life and we all have our bad moments you know what I mean like so it just I had to you know get out of that mind frame and I feel like Amber is somewhat like that. She's like, you know, she's in her, you know, she doesn't understand, you know, doesn't know how to get out of those dark moments. And I understand she's struggling I, I, and it shows, you know, and I, I, I feel for her. I understand where, what it's like to be in her position somewhat, but I just feel like the way she's dealing with it sometimes is not good. And it just shows a lack of maturity. And it's because she doesn't, and I think pe what people don't realize is that she's never really had a parental figure in her life. And I think people are constantly forgetting that. I, you know, and I think she has been able to get away with certain things and the way somehow she's been taught it's just been how to do you know be a certain way and it's not acceptable but maybe sometimes i wonder if it's all she knows and then i wonder if it's she doesn't know anything any better and that she's truly ignorant on some things and you know i can imagine that coming from a background where your parents were drug addicts and everything like that i can imagine you probably didn't have the best up you know obviously didn't have the best upbringing and so i like to keep that in mind when it comes to her because you know it's like it you know if that kind of thing affects people in a certain way and but at the same time it's just like there comes a point in time where you need to overcome that and become your own person and try to i don't know for me it's like don't you know don't let your 
other people's faults and failings become your fault and failings. Like, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Um, that's how I look at things. I just try to be my own person because I am in a, in a situation where I'm not as independent as I would like to be. And I, I, I'm, I grasp onto any type of independence that I can get because I do have to rely on my parents for a lot of things because of my health issues. And it's just like, if, if there's any way I can, you know, they let me be independent, you know, they try to give me as much independence as I, you know, as, as I can get. And I'm fighting every day to gain more independence and to eventually be out on my own and to make my own money and do my own things. And, um, I, but I am grateful for the fact that I am getting help, but it's just like, I can't imagine. I literally just cannot imagine being in a situation where you're constantly like every day, every moment, like, you know, always needing some sort of validation. Like she wakes up and she just like, does she need validation to wake up in the morning? Does she need validation to like brush her teeth and take a shower? Does she need validation to, you know, how she cooks and how she dresses? Like, I wonder if that's like her mind frame, you know, like that. I just don't know. It's just so weird to me. Like, I couldn't imagine being like that. I, I think, it's, you know, when we're younger, we're, you know, we're obviously more vulnerable, vulnerable and we do, you know, I, I, I think that some of us are in that space, when, especially like when we're teenagers and stuff. But it's just like, eventually you, you grow up and you learn to overcome that and you learn to become your own person. And I just don't see that kind of personal growth, Amber. I feel like she's, like I said, she's constantly trying to emulate other people, constantly seeking validation. And she, I don't think she knows herself really well. And I think that's going to be the major problem with her weight loss journey is how can you go on a journey like I mean well I mean maybe this weight loss journey that she's going on this right the fact that it's been like eight years maybe it's in some way helping her learn learn how to like find herself and maybe this recent stint is going to be successful and maybe she'll learn how to find herself and, and and be herself and and do what she wants to do but um I don't know like I said, healthy dose of skepticism and a healthy dose of optimism. So, yeah. Um, now, when it comes to Chantel, like, let's see. Do, 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 do. By the way, I hope you guys like the Winston clip that I put in my yesterday's video. Like, he was so cute yesterday on my bed. Like, he's just, he, I love him so much. And also, um, just let you know for anybody who's tuning into the whole Onision thing um chris hansen just posted his um interview with i Ayala. i've been watching i've watched literally every interview so i mean they're so good chris hansen how he's handling this is just amazing like i have so much respect for him i've, I've watched him for years and it's just like you know when i found out that um he was doing this you know for, you know we're getting into the Onision thing. I was so excited. I was like, yes. Okay. Um, oh my God. Apparent. What? The some karaoke cover of Dream Alone. Okay. I don't even. Can she even sing? I don't know. Okay. So, oh my God, you guys. She did a McBo McDonald's mukbang. And to looks of it, she got, oh, she got two, oh my god, okay, I think I might react to this, but she's, you know, she's back at doing, um, oh, I don't know if I can, actually, <laughs> I'll try, she's back to doing, like, um, the mukbangs, and she's, you know, she's really making no effort to change, you guys, um, I, I don't see any emotional growth, maturity whatsoever, she has two Big Macs, you guys. Has anybody seen this? And are there really two Big Macs? Or it's just like... Looks like there's two... Oh my god, there is! There's two sandwiches! How? How can you have two... Oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's so gross. Okay, um... There's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it is. Uh... Shoot. I can't think of it. 
It was on the tip of my... M I should I should have mentioned it before mentioning Foodie Beauty. Um, I may react to the McDonald's um, Big Mac thing. I just... I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I want to I wanna try to at least do one reaction to the mukbang. One of her mukbangs. And I was like... I, I couldn't do the... I couldn't do the Kentucky the Kentucky fried chicken one because I was really sick at the time. But um I don't know if I can do the Big Mac. <laughs> I'll try. I really will. But I don't know. I have no idea. I can't think of what what else I was gonna say. Um so in lieu of that, um like, share, and subscribe. I hope you really guys I hope you guys really do enjoy my videos. I'm sorry that it's not the style that um, of the reactions, you know, with the reaction cam, but it's just, it's not been working right for me and I'm trying, trying to find something else. Um, I love to hear more feedback. Um, you know, I love hearing from you guys. Uh, oh yes, yes. There is one more thing I want to mention. There is this series that I just watched on, um, BBC. Well, it's actually on Hulu, but it's BBC. It's called The Secret of Crickley Hall. And you can actually get the book. It's based on a book, and it's by James Herbert, which I'm going to be reading. But um, it's a three-part miniseries, and honestly, it was really good. Like, I don't know how it, if it holds true to the actual book, because I haven't read the book yet. But, like, um, like it was good. And um, I think I'm watching it for a second time because it was that good. But uh, I love costume dramas and stuff like that, like BBC, PBS, like, like you guys, I have had like six versions, like six different versions of Jane Eyre, like seriously, I'm not even joking, like that's how crazy I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm going to be reading the book and I'll let you guys know how that turns out. But if you guys are, have a Hulu subscription, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if other countries have it on their Hulu or Netflix or whatever, but it's called The Secret of Crickley Hall, and um, I totally recommend it's It's really good. But um, I'm also deciding not to react to Onision's breakouts. I feel like that um, that would give him the wrong kind of attention, and, you know, at this time, you know, we need the proper kind of attention. We need, you know, to show, you know, to get him off every platform this person him and kai do not are not the kind of people that need to be online like they need to be like completely cut off from the internet they are so dangerous and you know so lethal and um just react I, I feel like he's doing he knows that these freakouts are money ma you know getting him views and that's getting him money like i think real stream news says like he's gotten ten thousand made like ten thousand dollars just by, by making some of these freak out reactions so he's making bank on this guys and he's gonna keep on doing these freak outs just so he can get that money that he's missing from patreon so um i don't even know if i'm gonna watch him anymore because it's just so freaking ridiculous um but yeah just I, you know, and when it, when people are, are, uh, wondering whether they're legit or not, like whether he's, this is a real freak out, whether, or this is just an act, I think it's a bit of both now that I think about it, now that I, you know, really think about it. And I think it's a bit of both. I think some of it's theatrics and I think some of it's actually genuine, like fear. So, um, yeah. By the way, um, does anybody know the articles of impeachment are going to be going in next week? I'm really excited. I'm really just excited to see how things turn out for that. Like, um, I know I don't talk very much about politics, but I am in support of the impeachment. And because you guys know that I'm a no Trump fan and I, you know, if anybody has been paying attention, it's so blatantly obvious that Trump has broken the law and so has his associates to deny that at this point, considering all the evidence that has come out and considering how many people have spoken out you're stupid if you, if you, if, if you're, if you think that's all fake, like seriously, like how, you know, like how, how, <laughs> I, I don't get it. Anyways, um, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, I had so much to say in this video. I, I feel like I've been so lethargic and all of a sudden now I just have this like untold energy and it's like amazing. So, um, again, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love hearing your feedback. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season so far. Um, you know, get out and see the lights, get out and, 
you know, have that hot chocolate and, um, you know, everything just experience, you know, that's what I plan on doing, you know, seeing the lights. Um, I'm going to be seeing the star Wars when it comes out. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I I'm about this holiday season. Um, I'm just financially right now. Things are kind of difficult. Um, Hulu kind of screwed us over a bit. Um, Oh, I don't know. I just, I got, I had a really long, like long chat with them yesterday. I'll talk about it in my update video, but, um, yeah. Peace out my ninjas and happy holidays. Mm -hmm.